Nityandam, welcoming you back with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityanda Paramashivam. Today's video, I want to share about a click and an experience which is happening in me. And it's basically uh, related to patience and how, um, how, yeah, how being patient is so important. I remember in one of the satsangs I gave in, if I'm not mistaken, it was in an Ask the Avatar session, he was saying that what is making me an incarnation is my level of patience with you guys. But what I understood is, even if you have powers, you're not going into the hard power dimension, means push, using these powers to push your idea forward. No, soft power, enriching, um, taking care, supporting, not giving up, and keeping enriching until that seed blossoms within each uh, one of us, the disciples. So at that moment, he was saying that patience is the thing which is making me an avatar. So that clicked with me a lot uh, for various reasons. And I realized experientially, I'm realizing more and more experientially that patience is very important if you want to manifest something. Um, I, I kind of started to experience and see that we get very, the dualistic logic from which we function makes us very uh, impatient towards the reality. And it's like there's so much fantasies and wrong ideas implanted in us and that we cherish that when the life around us is not moving as per our wanting, we get, we get agitated, we get shaken, we get whatever, we go through some ups and downs. And that should not be there. One of the first experiences I got about that was that um, chanting the Mahavakya. When you chant the Mahavakya, whatever is happening, you close your eyes, you remember Swamiji, and you chant the Mahavakya, you get into this space of unclutch, right? I can, also, I can also relate to patients with being unclutched and just, you know, creating space between what is happening and where you are. And in that space, you just rest because it's like a resting space. So even though you're engaged, you are resting because you are unclutched. And I realized that the more impatient, the more impatient we are, the more we tend to come to conclusions and assumptions and we, we kind of just you know copy paste our conclusions on life and then we start to operate from there and that's where we start to um, pretty much destroy everything. <laughs> we destroy everything because we, we don't allow the space of possibility to remain open because we freeze everything into conclusions. So patience is very important. But at the same time, you have to be intense because it's not like you should be patient and then become casual and laid back and just wait. And that's not the space. So it's like a, a, a space where you have the intensity of doing things as if you want them to happen now. Well, not as if, uh, with the space that you want them to happen now, that same intensity should be there. But at the same time, the same patience, the same patience should be there um, as if you had... Um, eternity, or as Samaji was saying, uh, we are eternal, we have as many lives as we want. So that, that the feeling of my experience is like, how you feel relaxed and settled by the idea that I have infinite amount of births that I can take in order to do what I want. So me not achieving what I want is not possible. I am going to achieve what I want. How many births I take, that is my decision, but I will achieve what I want. So that brings a lot of settledness. It's like whoo, that resting space. And, and at the same time, you, when you engage in what you do, you engage um, intensely as if you want it to happen now. And, um, and, when, and the more and more you find that space where you're able to accommodate both the intensity and the the, 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 the settled space, um, 
then you just you just start to know how to live life and uh, actually life and, and I'm seeing that in my life more and more the more you do that the more life becomes simple and you realize that many of the problems that you you were once perceiving are no longer there because they're not real they are perceptions because we are not operating from the right space so that's why uh, for me that you know unclutching that patience that um, yeah, that patience is so important. You have to be patient. You have to remain intense, but you have to be patient as well, simultaneously. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share in this video, a very short video, but uh, um, for me right now, it's a very big thing. So having patience and willing to engage and not coming to conclusions too fast, and not, you know, making decisions too fast also, having that space, you know, that, I don't know, it kind of feels like it's a maturity, right? It's like, I don't know how to explain <laughs> without being creative. It's like a maturity. It's like a ripe fruit. You have to be in that space of ripe fruit. Not, uh... so yes. So that's what I wanted to share in this video with you guys. Um, thank you again for watching. If you have any comments, any clicks, anything regarding that, patience and how patience has helped you in your life, uh, write it down below, share it with me and everybody on the platform. So uh, with that being said, thanking you again for watching these videos and supporting, inviting you to like, subscribe, comment, to stay posted for the next video. And um, actually I am still going to, I still have to, uh, plan this documentary about power manifestation but I will do it um, I will do it it's gonna be a great video so stay tuned for that and that being said thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video Nityanandam